Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, I got a lot of unpopular opinions coming for y'all and sliding at number one. We have Lil Duvall who tweeted that Ice Spice looks like a ghetto LMA. And honestly, I see it. But some people did want to know what did he mean by ghetto? Was it because her hair is curlier? Well, some people were saying, how is she ghetto? She doesn't look ghetto. And Lil Duvall came back and said, this is not a diss, by the way. And I do have to call out the hypocrisy when y'all see black women or dark skinned black black women who look like Ice Spice, who rap like Ice Spice, who dress like Ice Spice. Y'all call them ghetto. Y'all call them everything but a child of God. But back to what Lil Duval said about her looking like the ghetto LMA, I don't think it's because she's rocking short natural hair. I really think it's because of her overall image. She's from the Bronx and she's a drill rapper. In a lot of her videos, she's usually in the projects, somewhere at the deli twerking in the project elevator. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it's giving hood aesthetic. Like whereas LMA, she's an R&B girly she usually sings about love and heartbreak she's trying to be booed up she's trying to be somebody girlfriend and Ice Spice is trying to be outside so I get it and even when she wears straighter wigs it's still giving what the curly hair gives you know what I'm trying to say she's a ghetto girl from the Bronx she raps about that she's proud of that she lives that like it is what it is Next unpopular opinion, Ice Spice is the next Cardi B. They're trying to use that same formula. I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm sorry, it's talentless. It's just talentless twerks. And I do think that Ice Spice is a nice girl and she has a lot of potential to grow, but the fact that they're already putting her on big stages, big platforms, like there literally is no such thing as artist development anymore. And that's why we see such a lack in talent. Literally every time I see her performing, she looks bored, the crowd looks bored, and then she bends over and starts twerking and everyone gets hype. I mean, we could go to the strip club for all of that. Like, are you a rapper? or you a dancer like it's, it's not giving what it was supposed to give i want to see more talent development i need to see it at this point please i don't want to keep using colorism as the reason why y'all bitches get in the stage but i mean the therapist that y'all got fired literally told black men the same thing that Kevin Samuels told black women. Y'all said it was her tone. Y'all said it was her delivery. We said the same thing about Kevin Samuels. It's his tone. It's his delivery. And y'all called in and got that lady fire now i will say that she has to be accountable for her actions and she definitely broke that code when she went on tiktok rant speaking pri speaking on private information about her clients but i'll never forget how y'all doxed her and got her fired but made kevin samuels richer and more famous hmm now i know the storm died down on this one but i'm about to stir this shit back up because y'all got mad at marad morali for his racist kinks but what about the black men who hired him specifically to belittle them as a kink yeah y'all forgot that that's really a thing that there are really people of opposite races who like that shit, okay? They hired him and paid him to step on, oh my God, to step on them, slap them with his feet, child. That was not black women's fight at all. And y'all went hard to cancel Mara Morali when he was paid to do a job. And it actually reminded me of the time where Mano did an interview and he said that he likes when white women call him nigga during sex. Everyone laughed it off. Everyone said, well, that's what he likes. That's what he likes behind closed doors. You know, that's the woman. That's what he want them to do. Well, keep that same energy. That's what those Asian men, black men and white men, that's why they hired him to shame them racially. Okay. Honestly, I could have gone my whole life without seeing or knowing this information. He is a fellow YouTuber and I just really did not want to see him in that light. But girl, 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 girl. But then I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. This ain't our fight. It's not our fight. Let him fight with his customers, not you. There's a ton of rumors that Saweetie cheated on Quavo with Offset and I don't believe it. Like, I really can't see that. I can't see it. It does look like it makes sense because the Migos are no longer a trio. They're now a duo. Obviously, Offset did do something to upset Quavo, but I don't think it had anything to do with Sweetie. I personally think that Sweetie was messing around with Lil Baby, and that's who Quavo was referring to. I don't think it has anything to do with Offset. Ugh, I, know, I know I'm alone on that one, but yeah, no. Kanye West is weaponizing mental health. Because Kanye... You're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence 
behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Unpopular opinion, Kanye West is running for president in 2024, and unfortunately, he does have a chance at winning. I know, I know. But if Donald Trump could become president, so can Kanye West. The bar is at an all-time low for political leaders right now in this country, and honestly, it's a circus. But when you have black people saying, yeah, I understood what he meant by slavery was a choice. When you have Kanye fans making sense of all of his nonsense, him being president is really not that far-fetched. Honestly, look at the way the world is going. Pull up with the Bob superheroes, no capes. Pull up with the Bob superheroes, no capes. I really don't think any artist loves their fan base as much as Nicki Minaj, and I really don't think any fan base loves their leader <laughs> as much as the Barb's love Nicki. Like, one thing about the Barb's, y'all love y'all some Nicki Minaj. Like, it's really crazy. They have their own language, and I know it's a full time job, but I would love somebody to defend me the way the Barb's defend Nicki, period. Well, that's all I have for this edition of Unpopular Opinions. Let me know some of your thoughts on some of my opinions. Let me know your own personal opinions. Let's kiki down in the comment section. Do you feel like Sweetie really cheated with Offset? Do you feel like Ice Spice is the ghetto version of LMA? <laughs> Will you be voting for Kanye in 2024? Goodbye. Let me know all your thoughts and unpopular opinions down in the comment section. Remember, opinions are like buttholes. We all have them. Just keep it clean. I'll see y'all at the next one. Later.